Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Oh, okay, so we're playing already. What is up, guys? It's the Nim Nim here, and today we are going to be playing a free um, indie game. Right there. Maybe I could have another look. Shut up, I'm trying to do an intro called Serena, as you can probably tell by the little intro that happened there. I pulled up this game, and I thought there was going to be a um, uh, like play screen, I guess you could call it, or menu, but there wasn't, so I had to close the game and restart it so you guys could see the intro. Anyway... Uh, one more try. I know, it's pointless. Shut up! Fine, look at your damn photo. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this All one right. is quite important. Well, that's done now. So, um, we're supposed to, I guess, solve the mystery of this guy's wife. The furniture came with the cabin. I think, as I think his wife, how his wife is dead. Path this place is, or she's that missing make up our mind. All right, so it looks like we can uh, basic point-and-click adventure stuff. Teleporting. All right. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk and cuddle. Oh, that's depressing. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. Yeah, you... The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. He's got to have a pretty bad memory of his wife if he can't even remember her. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Getting it on. Of course, we made love here, too. Oh. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. That's kind of gross on the table. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. All right, well, well I'm done with that. Along with the bed, of course. Oh, cute. Um. There's nothing I, I can I do anything here? Can I like, take it off? Nope. Just a creepy lady. Alright, wonderful. Um, so much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. This guy has a lot of thoughts. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. My... Alright, let's read them. Encyclopedia Frobosica. Volumes 6 and 7. The Unfortunate Life of a Chacobo Sage. Stu Sizer. Quite a name. My Bloody Sabbath. How I Learned the Devil's Music. Nelson Miguel. You know what? No. I'm bored of reading. Um, I looked it up there. Can I look here? Yeah. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Most of the books are mine. All, right. all of hers are still here. So it looks too. like you click on it a couple times and it has a couple things to say. And then uh, you can back out of there. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon. Most of the books are a lot of rarities and right, yeah. special okay. editions here. 
Same thing, pretty much. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. Um, yeah, this ki this cabin kind of did go to shit. Uh, anything else we can do over here? Up there? Up there? Hey, what was that? No, that was just a bookcase. Ugh, it's disgusting. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Mm. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Alright then. Let's go over here. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. True friends stand by each other through any adversi adver adversity. Idiot. Um, over here. Something Open. draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. So we gotta open the trunk. Gotcha. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. <sighs> we found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. So now I'm learning about the history of a trunk. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Quite. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. Alright, yeah. We used job. to love rummaging around those you, in our you. early years. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, what is this? Come love with peace in your heart, said Nima of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow white mare. Come, O sin, to my gardens fair. In land of the youth, ply your art. Ours shall be the cycle of days, ours sun and sky and rainbow ways. Come, love, with peace oh, in your okay. heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. I'm guessing his wife had blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folk tale. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic other world known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the fey folk, the fair ones, fairies, weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, yeah. All but right. the lines and are structure are a bit quaint. Um, still, some lines jump out at you. I've pretty much looked at everything over... What is this? I didn't look at this yet. What is what is that? I, do I even want to know what that is? I don't think so. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go over to the bed. There's bound to be something over here. Our refuge from the world, a place of warmth and passion. I guess that's all I can really look at from this point of view. So I'll head over this direction. Um, nothing. September 15th, nope. No date. 9197. Eh. Nothing really important. We used to keep a pitcher of water and a glass on this nightstand. But they're not here now. There's a thick layer of dust and an almost invisible outline where we kept the water pitcher. It hasn't been long enough for so much dust to accumulate. Has it? It might have been. Depends how long ago your wife died or went missing or whatever. Unlike its sibling, 
This lamp would last for months. For some reason, I always slept on the side of the bed closer to the window. Never asked myself why. We weren't good at housekeeping, always focusing on yeah, other aspects tell. of our life together. But the dust does stand out a lot more when Serena's suddenly not here. Well, you probably didn't keep up the housekeeping because you were fucking everywhere. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. I'll dust it off some other time. The sun is streaming through the window. No reason to turn this on. All these metaphors and similes in my head. Light of my life. Make light. Wait, that's another kind of light. A lamp is a lamp. But to a writer, every mundane item triggers connections and that leads to more. It seemed like neither of us could bother to properly wipe the lampshades. All these metaphors and similes in my head. Right. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. All right, then. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... Imagine putting a black light on this bed, or at least all around this cabin. There so are no monsters semen. under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Did you check? No, you didn't. You don't know that for sure. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Okay, then. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I really want to get that trunk open, but it won't let me. Come on. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. Alright, so this guy's wife died. And he's obviously very depressed, and his apartment kind of went to shit. And he fucked with her everywhere, and so now he doesn't have a fuck buddy. And that kind of sucks for him. Oh, okay. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Hers. I used it, too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. Yeah, all right. I, Repeating. <laughs> should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. Well, that's pretty somber. Comb. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. So that's his wife's hair. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? That would suck. Hmm. Hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. Did she leave? If she left him. That would suck for this guy. These keys are for the cabin and the car. There's three, though. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? What the hell is this? Waiting for asylum. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. All right then. Cabinet, watch. Money, no. Um, sheets, I'm just kind of clicking everything right now. 
Dolan, more. Alright, I guess nothing. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. A luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Well, that was nice.